As Separatist control over vital but isolated supply routes expands, Republic forces invade a key planet. And much like the first Dombaran episode, nobody actually knows why this planet is so important. I don't even think the screenwriters know. Also, narration. Trying to shoot a spaceship down with a pistol. And here I was thinking that Rex was intelligent. Holy shit, we're only a minute and a half into this episode, and I'm literally only the fourth sin into this, but I'm already loving the intensity of the battle, one sin removed. He totally just stuck that needle in on top of the guy's undershirt. Are we sure Kix is a real medic? Remember, General Grell, the entire invasion depends on your battalion. Yeah, I don't think we really needed that reminder. It's kinda sorta very important. Okay, I'm totally willing to buy that they were able to get away from the battle to complete their new mission, that's fine. What I'm not willing to buy is that the Umbarans aren't even bothering to pursue them after they left. No guerrilla strategy? Really? There's a base there, all right. I'm sorry, I love Rex and I love this show, but that might have been the most unnecessary line of dialogue I've ever heard. At least three tank divisions, plus guns. How can he tell, at least with the part about the tanks? All you can see in this shot is the tower, you can't see any tanks. Strong men use big gun. I for one agree with the general's plan. We're running out of time and this is the best option. Fucking dogma. We're soldiers. We have a duty to follow orders and if we must, lay down our lives for victory. Do you believe that? Or is that what you were engineered to think? I honor my code. That's what I believe. Holy Shit. You know, for a kid show, this topic and dialogue is actually pretty damn mature. Is everyone clear on the plan? Hard case? Yes, sir. Vibes? Are you clear? Yeah. I like how the only reason they crawled up to that ridge was to tell each other that they were clear on the plan. It's not like they did any actual recon, they looked through the binoculars for five fucking seconds. <laughs> fucking centipedes. This guy actually looks over at the second tank before it surfaces. Are you telling me that he already knew it was there? It has ray we need rocket launchers. And yet they keep firing despite the fact that they know their bullets can't do shit against the ray shields. How did that single rocket cause that much damage to the centipede? It hit the tank in one spot, but the entire thing is bugging out. I guess it's mating season. How did the rocket from earlier do so much damage, but this one is only capable of breaking the glass? The first one was a total chad, but this one is a little bitch. No juice left in him either. That's kind of dark. What are they doing? Captain, continue your attack. What a dick. The platoons are in the formation you requested, General. Should I send them to support Captain Rex? I'll give the order when I give it, Sergeant Apo. Fucking Apo. Captain. You will launch a full forward strike immediately, or you will be relieved of duty. And yet he's never actually relieved of duty despite the fact that he goes through with the fives and hardcase plan. Also, why the hell did you send hardcase on a stealth mission? He's probably the last person I'd want to send. My commander on Kamino said my growth acceleration chamber had a leak. Made me hyperactive, I guess. Exposition dump is expository. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how the design of these tanks is practical at all. They look really cool, but they don't really make sense. Fives in hard case ex machina. Symbolism. It wasn't all luck, sir. A lot of men died to take this base. The price for such victory. Perhaps someday you'll realize this. Based on the implication that Krell is making here, I feel justified in saying, that's racist. Captain, you will launch a full forward strike immediately, or you will be relieved of duty. You can't fire me, I quit! 